everybody. Thanks for watching my cover of this song. Uh, I've gotten a lot of requests to do a lesson for this song, so that's what I'm going to do in this video here. Okay, so right now I'm in standard tuning, which you might be too, but for this song we're going to have to tune it down a half step. And one way you can do that without a tuner is to put your index finger on the 6th fret of the A string, which is an E flat. And we're trying to tune the low E string down to an E flat. So we're going to match the low E string to the 6th fret on the A string. And then you can just tune it up from there. Okay, I'm actually gonna do it with a tuner though, just to get it perfect, and then I'll show you how to play. Okay, I'm now tuned down one half step. So, this E is not an E major, it's actually technically an E flat major. Okay, so it starts off with this riff. So, index finger, 6th fret, A string, ring finger on the 8th fret of the G string. You're going to mute the D string here and have this low E string ringing. And then you're going to slide it up, index finger, to the 7th fret. But it's not actually going to be a technical slide, but you're just sliding up your fingers here. So, And then you're going to slide this down to the index finger on the second fret keeping that octave shape and then after that we're gonna do a bend here with our ring finger sixth fret on the D string and we're basically bending that D string up a fret And then we're doing two quick 16th notes before we do that bend. So it's going to be. So we have that. Then after that, we're going to do a pick. Then we're going to do index finger, D string, fourth fret. And then we're going to slide that down to the second fret. And we have the open A string this whole time. So we have. And then we're going to slide back up to the 4th fret, and then, let's see. Then it's going to be ring finger on the 6th fret again, and then we're going to slide that up to the ninth fret on the D string. So that whole last part sounds like this. Okay, so the whole entire riff, I'll play it slowly a few times. So we have. So I guess another thing is uh, we're doing downstrokes the whole time. And for this, does that um, he kind of makes it just like a little bit louder there it's kind of like a little bit of an accent so this is kind of soft and it does accent so that's just kind of a subtle nuance okay so after that um, when we're going into just kind of the end of that section we're gonna do ring finger a string uh, ninth fret, index finger, seventh fret, D string, pinky on the ninth fret of the G string, and open B string. So this is a F sharp minor 11. And then we're just going to go into a B chord with the open B string. So it's going to go. And then you go 
gets back into the riff. So that happens the I think the first and second time, but on the after the uh, second verse I think after the um, first chorus, he's gonna do instead of doing this one, he's gonna come down here. He's gonna play an F sharp major chord with the open B note, so it's an F sharp at eleven, and then we're gonna slide up to an A major chord the index finger fifth fret here so we have and that only happens after the first chorus and the uh, second verse going into the second chorus so all the other times it's this one so for the chorus you're gonna play a power chord index finger a string seventh fret ring finger and pinky on the ninth fret of the D and G. We're gonna have these open B and high E strings ringing as well, so it goes. And then we're gonna move our index finger down one fret on the A string. And then we just go into a octave shape here on the second and fourth fret. And then we just go into this little part again. So it goes. So when we come from this power chord here, sometimes I play this octave shape with my pinky instead of my ring finger just because my pinky is already on the G string and it's kind of easier just to slide that down. So sometimes I play that with my pinky, but you can do whatever you want. Um, so of course goes. back into the riff the bridge section is the only other part so we're basically doing a power chord here we're gonna have that open B string this is a B a B5 B power chord so we're gonna play this then we're gonna slide it up two frets C sharp minor 7 index finger on the fourth fret of the A string and then we're gonna go to an A major at nine so this is gonna be ring finger seventh fret D string G string sixth fret with the middle finger and then we're gonna have the open B string and then you can actually do the open high E string if you wanted to so the whole bridge section goes like this string here Instead of doing the whole octave shape, you could just do the low E string and maybe the uh, A string if you want. Because in the song it's softer. Okay, and then the only other part is uh, at the end here. So you're just going to end on an E chord. So it goes.
that's how it ends. So, um, one other thing I add here is just kind of a cool intro. Um, if you check out their um, final Metro show, there's like two guitars happening. And then I think Billy is playing something like this. It's like... I think that's kind of a cool intro um, it's just index finger first fret of the G string then you're um, just picking the high E string and B string so and then you're hammering on with your middle finger to the second fret of the G string and then you're just going back to the first fret Okay, so that's all the sections. Um, I'm gonna play through the whole entire thing listening to headphones, so you can play along with my guitar if you want. Um, yeah, thanks again for checking out my cover song video, and I don't know, check out my other videos, I guess. <laughs> all right, thanks for watching. <clears throat> okay, this is playing along with the recording here. I might come in a second late because the uh, getting the entrance is kind of hard.
right, there you have it. Thank you.